Hey, hey, Cancer. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your December 2024 career and money reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Cancer, I feel like you always get the rebel card. It says limiting beliefs could be limiting your abundance. This may be something you're working on breaking out of, but it says you're a system buster, possibly an entrepreneur, or you're definitely here to teach others a better way. So breaking out of old patterns, breaking out of old cycles, and maybe even going in a direction that could feel a bit uncomfortable, but it's going to be the most rewarding. You are a trailblazer meant to pave the way for future generations. Bottom of the deck, you have manifesting. That may be why your thoughts are so important at this time with the rebel. Don't let those limiting beliefs hold you back from your abundance because you're in a manifesting cycle, a period here that's stronger than ever before. You have all the tools that you need to increase your income, Cancer. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to where you can showcase your talent. This is beautiful and right behind it, you actually have the lucky clover. So this is taking a risk, taking a gamble. I am getting a bit of risky energy here, maybe risky business. We could see the fool card showing up in your reading today, but I feel like this is a risk that will be worth it, but it may be, require you stepping out of your comfort zone. You have the feather, which is my Aquarian card. Expansion and growth is available to you if you want it. There's also divine intervention. So I'm curious to see if that shows up in the form of the Wheel of Fortune, potentially for some of you. But this is about abundance, easy money, working smarter, not harder. For some of you, your travelers, your gypsy souls, perhaps you're able to work remotely. You can work from a distance here. You could work in the travel industry or you're thinking about relocating or maybe even traveling in the month of December. There's still some pieces that are undecided. Yeah, and as I say that, we have the Ace of Swords showing up above you, but I feel like you're going to get some communication or there will be some clarity as Sagittarian season fully appears. Yeah. Eight of Swords in reverse. I like to see that Eight of Swords in reverse because it means that we're breaking out of an old pattern. And as I've been saying, I heard this phrase not long ago and it really stuck. We either break the pattern or the pattern breaks us. And I feel like a lot of, of you trailblazers out there, Cancer, especially you, I feel like you are breaking out of limitations. And you may be the trailblazer that is here to help others do the same. You also have the spiral card. The spiral can feel like things are out of control, but this is about climbing the ladder or upward and onward. Yeah, upward and onward is what I'm getting. I see the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could even be revisiting a job. This is giving me that Wheel of Fortune vibe. You could be getting a promotion or there is a new connection here as well. But I feel like it is something that is part of your destiny. It is part of where you are meant to be. Let's get a final outcome. What's the final outcome for cancer in the month of December, please? Oh, do you want that? Yeah, okay. All right, beautiful. You have three major arcanas back to back here. Bottom of the deck, you have the two of pentacles. 
It's important to have balance. You could be working multiple jobs. There could be multiple ideas that you have. You could be working in the corporate world, but building your own business, or you're just juggling a lot at this time, but it's important to make it fun. And we take life so serious. We get caught up in the seriousness and the heaviness of things. That's why you have the feather card here. And I'm getting like light as a feather, stiff as a board. Maybe some of you are familiar with that, or perhaps you've just watched uh, the movie The Craft, but I feel like the feather here is all about you lifting. There's a lifting of energies, a lifting of frequencies here where you may have felt a little bit bogged down by by maybe that emperor in reverse. This could be a boss. This could be governing agencies. It could be what's going on around the world. But I feel like there's something being lifted here and it feels really good, but it may be that you have a different viewpoint in how to go about this. You may have different ideas, more expansive. There's an opportunity to take an idea and really go again, upward and onward is what I'm picking up on here for you. There could be an opportunity that is coming back around that you may be revisiting again, okay? This could also be a past person that connects you. It could be an old coworker or an old boss. I just feel like there's something in the matrix or something in the midst that is kind of spiraling into destiny to, to make this happen for you. But it's also because you're a trailblazer and you're not going to stop at, I feel like you're just, you're not the type cancer that's just going to stop at settling or less than the best. You're going to continue to fight for what it is that you believe. And your final themed card here is the cup. Be mindful of spending and overdoing it this month. December can be an easy month to do so if you celebrate the holidays, but I feel like you're nurturing yourself. You're taking care of yourself and in your business. You may have a lot of new ideas that show up for you. There's a sense of fulfillment here, and you could be taking some R&R &R or a little time for yourself to maybe get into the holiday spirit, to spend time with family and friends, to really focus on some of those creative ideas that you have. And I really see you branching out with this spiral card, and it feels like an idea that you have, it could take hold and spiral outward and onward quite quickly. So trust in your, your abilities, trust in your skills and in your gifts. Now, again, we do have the manifesting card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you have talent and there is going to be an offer that comes to you to showcase your talent, whether that comes through learning a new skill or higher education. This could be a raise or a promotion or you being able to collaborate or work in a partnership in some sort. And I feel like your ideas are important here because it may surprise you that someone actually says to you, and this could be someone from higher up because it almost feels like the feather is trickling down here where someone says, Cancer, that is a really great idea. That's outside the box thinking. That's what we like to see. And I feel like you're gonna receive some sort of pat on the back or accolades or job well done. And it's really gonna help fill your cup here. Let's dive into the tarot. You start off with the nine of wands. Stay determined. Stay determined and move forward. And this can be difficult to do sometimes when we're feeling overwhelmed or we feel like we've gone through a lot of external hurdles, but I see this last month of 2024, it almost feels like your bravery is reigniting. There's a renewed sense of determination to overcome this last milestone, this last hurdle. And I feel like you, you got it in the bag, whatever that may mean for you. You got it in the bag. Maybe you've been studying and studying for an exam. Perhaps you've had a few interviews. And I feel like it's going to be worth it. Be prepared for any possibility. Sometimes this also has to do with environmentalism or activism. Some of you may be called to help the planet in some way. This could also be working with nature, getting out in nature. 
but I feel like you are very determined this month. You have your eye set on some sort of a prize. And I see that you are thinking long-term. You're thinking of a bigger picture, but there's a, a completion here as well. It's like, I'm ready to complete this task. I'm ready to be of service to maybe something, something new, or I'm ready to grow and expand on something you've already created. Now, what's crossing your path is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles can really be examining, right? Is this worth investing in this area or am I meant to kind of pivot a bit? Am I meant to detour and invest elsewhere? You have invested wisely. That's what I see. But I also see here with this Nine of Wands, you're coming up to the end of a cycle. You've maybe hit a glass ceiling where you're at, and maybe that's why you have the Rebel card, be because it's going to require you to break through the glass ceiling and maybe spiral in a new direction. And I feel like this may even have to do with expansion of business, goods, or services. Even though it says travel, I feel like you could be taking a business online if you haven't already. Uh, this could be using some sort of software. I'm getting software or new systems that could help you instrumentally. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. But sometimes we get stuck because we feel like we just want to give up. Don't give up right before it starts to get good. Because the nine is the card of completion, right? And then you have the seven crossing your path saying, oh, but I don't have any more patience. I don't have any more determination or bravery to overcome anything external. Yes, you do. You're a fighter. You're a rebel. You're a rebel with a cause. And I feel like you're moving forward and it may be slow and steady and patient, but Spirit is saying you've invested in something here and you're going to reap the rewards of that hard work. And I see that there's progress here, but there's also a new endeavor. Okay, so it's it feels like you're between worlds and I mean, that's what the 12 month is all about as we wrap up 2024 and embark upon the new journey that 2025 brings us. I feel like you may be tying up loose ends, deadlines, and uh, really kind of, there's a lot happening. So you're, you're kind of trying to find more of that balance this month and trying to be patient with maybe others and maybe even yourself. Now, what's below you? The three of Ariel, the three of Pentacles. This is about you doing what you love. So this is you on a root level, on a core level. This is deep in your foundation, possibly deep, deep within your past, where you've gone through great personal growth in your career, in your artistic endeavors. This is about you doing what you love and maybe even collaborating and working with others, but it could also be you wearing many different hats, wearing many different roles. I feel like you've you've done a lot. You may even have different certifications or different degrees or, you know, different skill sets that may not even align with each other, but I feel like you are a cancer of all trades in a sense. And yes, I feel like you'll always be that that student of life. I feel like we all are. But at the core of who you are, it is very important for you to do what you love. And once you realize that that you don't love it or it may have completed its cycle, it's almost like I've done a, a round of this. I've done a couple rounds of this. Now I'm ready for the next adventure, but I'm getting a little impatient waiting for that next adventure because I just want to dive into this. I feel like you're collaborating here with maybe some new people, a new business, a new organization, or even again, new systems or platform. So there's a little bit of learning required here. And I see something with the mind coming in strong because the next four cards are swords, which is all about our intellect, all about our thought process and making decisions as well, overcoming obstacles, finding solutions. So it looks like you're on that path here of breaking out of a pattern 
in the recent past, you have the Knight of Swords, but it did show up in reverse. So perhaps there's been impulsivity or it feels like there's been a lot of action and maybe you're ready to slow things down a bit or vice versa. Maybe this is about ready, getting ready to, to pick up pace. It says choose logic over emotions. There may have been some sudden changes. That's kind of what I'm getting here with this Knight of Swords is there are sudden changes where you had to reach into that, that toolbox and pull out some strength, right? Pull out some commitment, pull out some uh, intellect as well as due diligence. So you may have had to put your, your nose to the grindstone here and really sniff out something is what I'm picking up on for you. And maybe that caused this spiral. It's like the dominoes effect. Once you, you push down the one domino, it gets all of the rest going. And I feel like that's what took place here in the recent past for you is it could be one idea that tended to spiral or one conversation at work. And that really caused you to go into the spiral of new thoughts. What's showing up above you. This is what's coming in, what the potential is is to slice through any obstacles or challenges to come up with a new understanding with the Ace of Michael, Ace of Truth, Ace of Swords. This is a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. For some of you, this is going to be a breakthrough moment, a moment of honesty a moment of authenticity even where I feel like there's a, a new action plan coming in here. Yeah. A new course of action is being implemented and executed. So some sort of truth coming out within yourself or within a company, or it could be good. I feel like this is good communication, especially with your outcome. We'll get there, but this is good communication that actually shows up in your favor because things have felt a little bit overwhelming here, maybe with that Knight of Swords. So in the near future, Spirit is saying, don't get caught up in your head. Don't go down the rabbit hole of obsessing about a situation. Did I get that job? Or why didn't I get that? Or why didn't that happen? Or how come it didn't work the way I wanted it to? We tend to get caught up on the logistics of things sometimes. And even though... The logical is showing up here in a very profound way. The mind can build, the mind can destroy. And I feel like you've worked so hard for something. Don't let the mind come in and wipe it out. You can be free of that. Make a courageous choice to change your situation because there may be some things that you're not seeing quite clearly. And that's why this ace of truth is coming in. Offering up that aha moment or offering up a word of wisdom, uh, a, a breath of insight here. This could come through, you know, come through uh, while you're showering. It could come through while you are driving. It can come through while you are taking your pet for a walk. I feel like there's, there's no designated place or time, but it, it happens to really come through when we are quieting the mind in some way. And I feel like courage is necessary and I keep getting you reaching in and kind of drawing out that courage and that strength like I said earlier there is a renewed sense of determination and bravery showing up for you this month so there's a, an extra oomph of knowledge there's an extra oomph of maybe healing and rest because you have the four of swords this is how you're feeling you're like I'm tired Mel I've worked hard I deserve a bit of a break this month and you absolutely do take it. Insight. Oh, look at this. Insight that comes from quiet meditation. We just talked about that and I didn't even know the Four of Swords was up next. But it says the need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Because it does feel with this Knight of Swords in the recent past You've been either very busy or your mind has been very active. And this can be balancing the mind. Four of Swords. It is about rest, retreat, self-care, renewal, rejuvenation, being able to take a break. Because when we don't take a break, we push our body to its limits. We ignore the signs of rest 
or we become obsessed or we, we are thrown off balance mentally, that can create dis-ease, also known as disease. It can create imbalance in the chakras, which backfire, and we don't want that to happen. So take some time for you this month. This is a time to really kind of go inward because that's when you're going to find some really powerful solutions to any troubles or challenges that, that are showing up here for you financially, materially, uh, or even, you know, in your career. I do see someone taking a bit of downtime and I'm talking 100% downtime. Not when you're taking a nice hot bath, but you're thinking about your to-do list and the chores and all the stuff you have to get done. I feel like you're fully sinking into rest mode and that is going to feel delicious. So offer yourself that, that time. Now, what's going on in the environment? We have the devil. But I like that the devil is showing up in the environment because it means that it's out in the open. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. A need to rest. Balance out the mind. Balance out the body. Balance out the spirit. Unnecessary worry based on maybe a lack of self-confidence, okay? Based on maybe even some self-worth. Now, the devil can be addicting, right? We get into an addictive thought pattern and it can become an obsession. We can be bonded or tethered to, to toxic ways of responding or dealing with things or drawing ourselves into that fear-based collective energy. Spirit is saying, now is the time to really address this because the devil is materialism, codependency, manipulation, and maybe that's something that the mind has been doing, or maybe it's something in your environment that feels like it's been, you know, weighing upon you and it's been spiraling, but I feel like you being the rebel, you're breaking out of it. It says, you know, break, it doesn't say it, but in the devil energy, it's about liberating yourself from that which holds you back. Yeah, release. So for some of you, you're making a decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Or do I let the mind bring me down? Or do I let it help me build? Do I release this pattern? Or do I stay in this cycle with the spiral? So there's definitely some sort of decision being made for your highest good. And I say that last piece because it's really a strong emphasis that spirit is bringing in for your highest good. That's something for you to trust here. Now, what is going on in your hopes and fears? Someone's doing some praying. Someone is asking for divine guidance. The search for meaning. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself, Cancer, with wise teachers and friends. The Hierophant showing up here is you shedding those limiting beliefs. That maybe society said you had to believe. This can be... The commitments that we once partook in, maybe they're not aligned with who you are anymore. Perhaps some, some path that you committed yourself is no longer the path that you want and you have to accept that. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but there's a, a feeling here of trusting in your, your higher self. And that is something I feel is a must, right? It's important for you to honor your, your higher calling because when we do not, that's when there's such a struggle. That's when we feel disconnect. That's when we get caught up in the head. And I feel like you've been doing a lot of searching. You've been doing a lot of praying, connecting to your, your spiritual teacher, your guides, your mentors, and working on shedding some of those limiting beliefs and replacing them with favorable beliefs that are going to help you right here, right now. Not something that may have been part of you 20 years ago or 20 months ago. This is something beneficial for you right here, right now. And that's the hope and that's the fear that you do have divine guidance backing you up and you absolutely do at all times. Don't forget that. It's only the mind that, tell us that tells us that we're disconnected that we don't have access to our intuition or that we are 
we are staying in some sort of condition. But you have every ability to break out of this. And your final outcome for December 2024 is justice. So the 8 and the 11 are reversed in this deck. Sometimes you'll often find that as those two were interchangeable in a, in a way. But the justice is showing up here as a fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. It says that there. Don't give up. And I feel like that could be a challenge because the seven of Ariel is saying, I I'm impatient, Mel. I, I kind of want to give up. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. And Spirit is saying, you're so close to some sort of victory. Don't give up, okay? There's justice here. You've been fighting a good fight. And it doesn't feel like that at times because the, the strength card, that's it's also very important. A lot of signs, and I mean, I've only done four of, four of them so far for careers, but I've been seeing the justice and the strength showing up, which is interesting because, again, in this deck, it's the 8 and the 11. And so I feel like strength has a big part of this as well. Overcoming difficulty, facing fear, self-control, and having the courage to not doubt one's journey, to not doubt one's path, and trusting in justice here. And of course, this can be the justice system. This can be justice for all. This can be something that you've really been fighting for is going to turn out in, in your favor, but it almost feels like you're not quite sure. You're confused, but I feel like it's going to turn out for the better here for your highest good. Remember that emphasis. All right, let's get a message here from the wisdom of the Oracle. And that one came out instantly. So there's a big message here and it landed right on the eight of swords, which remember the eight of swords can be that mental muckery. Co-create. It's time to co-create with your biggest manifesting partner. Who is it? The Hierophant. Divine Guidance. Card 40. Some of you may be 40 years old. 40 could be a significant number. I'm getting some of you. Uh, four zero could be uh, an apartment number or it could be in your telephone number. Like 4040. Four zero. This is all about creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, as well as manifestation. And the prosperity message for you, Cancer, is this. Flashes of inspiration and insight give rise to great success when you receive this message. You are at your most creative now. Whatever you apply yourself to will lead to the fruition of your dreams. Remember that all your ideas are channeled from a higher source. You create your reality in partnership with spirit. The potential for manifestation is unlimited. Revel in its vastness. And we did talk about you being in that, you know, that manifesting type of energy at this time. And I feel like with as many swords as I'm getting, you're receiving a lot of ideas. There's a lot of inspiration here. But I feel like you could be trying too hard to create all that you desire without, without the nurturing life force or spiritual force of the Hierophant. So perhaps there's an opening up of the Hierophant, letting go of limiting beliefs, right? Replacing them with more uplifting, more favorable beliefs for yourself. It says perhaps you are in a creative slump. Suffering writer's block or facing a monumental task, but you're unable to decide on your first step. So you just avoid doing anything at all. Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it has all come down to you? Inspiration means the drawing in of divine guidance. You must tap into spirit, not simply yourself. Maybe that's that devil showing up here. Maybe you've been tapping into yourself and the, the, the well has run dry. That's why you want to give up here. But when you tap into the well of spirit, that is an ever flowing well that you always have access to. There's always enough. So is that a belief that you may have that there's not enough, right? Is there a belief that things are going to spiral so far out that 
you're going to lose everything. Okay, with that cup, take a look at some of these devil antics in your life and really examine them, reevaluate them so you can work through them and, and overcome them here. I'm getting like overthrow. Something is being overthrown or maybe you're overthrowing the beliefs or something you thought was going to was going to turn out one way actually is overthrown and it turns out in your favor. You must tap into spirit, not simply yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Two minds are greater than one. So co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. Right? right? That's difficult. Eight of swords can be self-sabotage. It can be our minds getting in our own way or the mind of other people, right? The minds of other people, the fears of what's going on around us. And that can hold us back. And I feel like you're, you're rethinking things with that four of swords. You're getting back into a place of mental balance, which is great because that's going to offer you up this ace of swords, which is the inspiration. That's going to be the solution here to any barriers that have been blocking your success. Whenever I see the egg, I think of a new beginning. And I feel with the, the owl, the wise owl, and you showing up as this independent cat, there's something here about your independence and your wisdom that maybe you going out on a line or going out on a limb in some way, because that's a tight rope. It looks like a tight rope that that, that uh, owl is sitting on. So I feel like going out on a limb here is actually going to bring you closer to some sort of, of new beginning. You can trust this because spirit is your co-creating partner. Spirit's not going to let you, you fall, okay? And I feel if you are, if you do fall in some way, you have the feathers. You're going to land in the feathers here. Let's get a message from your spirit animals. And at this time, if you can safely do so, Cancer, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Nice big inhale. Hold it as long as you can. And release through the mouth with a nice big sigh. And with your eyes still closed, tune into your third eye chakra. The area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky it could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Your animal could be wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. One that's recently visited your path in the great outdoors. Or even a companion animal at your home or by your side. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway. All you need to do is drop your animal, whether you had one or more than one, drop it in the comment section below the video to be entered into the giveaway and be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification around the first of the month where I post right back here on the channel. All right, beautiful. Some of you could be 35 years old, 36 years old, 68, or born on the 15th. Now, it's interesting that you have the devil, which is card 15, showing up in your environment, but you also have the cow, 
which is card 15. The miracles are endless. And it's interesting because last weekend's collective reading, if you haven't checked that out, was about A Course in Miracles. And A Course in Miracles describes a miracle as a change in perception. And that's what could be going on here for you. There's a huge shift in perception, maybe getting you out of that maybe singular mindset here to more of a co-creating with spirit mindset. The miracles are endless and you're going to start to see evidence of them in your everyday daily life. They're not just reserved for special events. Next, you have koala. Spirit has a plan. Sometimes that plan looks a little bit differently than our egoic plan, right? Sometimes that may look different than what we thought was going to be mapped out for our future, but trust that spirit has a plan. And again, there's that co-creating energy showing up here. I'm also getting empathy and compassion and kindness. Make sure that you are giving yourself those things that you readily dish out and give to others. Next, you have koi fish. There's always enough. We talked about that. There's always enough. We get stuck in a bit of a scarcity mindset or we get drawn into the fear, the collective fear. But there's always enough. And koi fish represents longevity as well as prosperity. So I feel like you may be fearing long-term future. Trust that spirit has a plan. Even if we can't quite see it, on the external, there's a plan here that is working and I feel like there's enough and you're going to be protected and I'm getting financially, you're going to have enough. Lastly, you have wombat. Wombat, wombat spirit says be at home. Be at home within yourself, within who you are. Some of you may have been feeling like a homebody or December, you could be spending a little bit of time uh, at your home. This could be redecorating. It could be festivities, enjoying the holidays with friends and family. I'm also getting here, again, feeling more centered, coming back to that centered space within and even feeling more peace and more balance in the month of December. That's why you have that justice energy there as well. All right, last but not least, let's get a message here from your soul's truth. What soul work does cancer need to work on at this time that could help them manifest abundance or to get into that, that positive flow instead of resistance? You have, how can I deepen my trust right now? Trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. I told you, we don't have the wheel of fortune coming in, but we have that vibe. We don't want to go back into a pattern or a spiraling of events. And in order to, to not go back there, we have to trust and we have to tell ourselves a new story with that eight of swords. Trust fully in yourself that you can deepen your trust in others because trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Your soul action cancer, let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. And then lastly, am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Your soul action, be proud of your truth and catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse cancer that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Your mantra, courage is contagious. I told you that strength energy is showing up with justice and we have that courage within and you start off with that as well. You start off with this nine of wands energy, which is a renewed determination, reigniting that sense of bravery and overcoming external hurdles. And I feel like you have everything you need to deepen into that trust, not apologize and to break out of a cycle. Be that rebel with the cause. And I feel like that cause here 
will certainly be in your favor. If you fight for this justice and equality, there's going to be a ruling here. Don't give up. You're a trailblazer meant to pave the way for future generations. Cancer, that is what I have for you. If you like the message, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and do comment your power animals if you haven't already. Thank you again for tuning in and being here. Lots of love.